Here's a quick two minute tutorial, a tutorial on how to set up your mic with the Rodecaster Pro 2. First, connect your mic to one of the four XLR inputs and then press the color button above whichever channel you're using and that will bring up options that are specific to that channel. Selecting one of the basic presets is the best way to get started. If you're using a dynamic mic, select the dynamic option. If you're using a condenser mic, select the condenser option. And if you're unsure which of those roads to go down, start with the dynamic option. And if you're not hearing a signal from your mic, then switch to the condenser option. All condenser mics do need phantom power in order to run, but you can turn on phantom power on any of these settings. So the presets are really just a shortcut more than anything. If you're using a mic that already has an available preset, definitely give that a try to see how you like it. But even if you're not using one of the mics listed, sometimes it's worth taking whatever mic you're using and just trying out the different presets. Right now I'm using this mic, the Lewitt LCT240 with the Rode NT1 preset, and the world hasn't ended. After that is when you would want to adjust your mic's gain level by pressing the plus or minus until you're hitting right in the middle of this green gate right here. It's important to remember that this is just the input that the roadcaster is receiving from the mic and it doesn't dictate what will be recorded or sent out. That will be adjusted using the channel's fader for whichever channel your microphone is connected to. By default, the roadcaster does enable some basic processing which you can turn on or off. And if you tap over to the preset section, you'll notice that sometimes it starts by enabling podcast studio as a default preset. I would recommend switching to neutral so that way you get, believe it or not, a more neutral sound on your microphone to start with and then you can adjust from there. If you tap the advanced option under processing then you get the more advanced effects. That is more advanced than the scope of this video. You might also notice this button down here that kind of looks like the Rode logo. You probably won't need this but this is to fix any phasing issues with microphones. So if you have two microphones side by side and you're noticing that one of them sounds kind of weird, it probably is a phasing issue so don't let it phase you. You can just press this button here and it will fix it. Now once you have everything set how you like, you can go back into presets and then press the plus button to create a new preset. And then in the future, no matter which channel you have your mic connected to, you can get things sounding exactly how you like with just the press of a button. And speaking of pressing buttons, thanks to everyone who pressed the button to support my channel through Patreon and YouTube channel memberships. And if you wanna know a little bit more about the Rodecaster Pro, check out these videos right here.